ね。Yo, what is good? So today I'm gonna talk about finding security in our calling. I know everybody out there has an expectation of us, of what they want us to do, about how they want us to serve God, about what they expect from us. And some of these are okay, but some of these are just other people's ideas. And opinions on how our life should go, but when we wake up in the morning, nobody's there but us, God. Right? Sometimes the enemy right there, not gonna get no. out. <laughs> not that I want to give the devil too much credit,、um, but our own issues, you know.、Um, so we have to make the choice to say, "I'm gonna be a God pleaser. I'm not gonna be a people pleaser." I'm gonna aim for what I feel God wants me to do, or for、uh, what God has shown me to do.、Um, and it can be rough doing that sometimes,、um, especially when God is our main source of affirmation, when God is our the main one saying, "Yes, this is what I've called you to do. Yes, this is where I want you to go."、Um, there's this example.、Uh, I don't know if you remember. I always like to use this.、Um, I don't know if you ever seen the movie Bruce Almighty with Jim Carrey, and he becomes God for a day or whatever, and he has all these prayers coming from everywhere, and he said yes to everyone. And when he did, do you remember what happened? It was chaos everywhere, utter chaos, destruction, fires. People, everybody, there was like a thousand people who won the lottery, and they all got only twenty bucks or something, and it was just crazy. And that's what happens. When we try to say yes to everybody's version of us, don't get me wrong. We want to become like the Jews to the Jews, and the Gentiles to the Gentiles. We want to become all things to all people to win some. But sorry, I got something in my eye. But that doesn't mean letting go of our core values or our core of who we are. It means in our communication, in our delivery.、Um, That we're not going to preach the same to the hood as we would to a office full of、um, conservative elderly, you know, people. You know what I mean?、Um, it's finding middle ground.、Um, so, anyways, I say all that to say our core of who we are and our mission.、Um, Has to be from the kingdom. Has to be from God. And Noah built a boat. He built an ark. God called him to build an ark. David slayed a giant. You know, God didn't look at Noah and say, "Noah, why didn't you slay a giant?" And judge him harshly for that. And God didn't look at David and say, "How can you build an ark?" God called them both to do separate things. Okay, so that's kind of a little preface for what I want to talk about today. So,、um, yeah, I didn't have my phone yesterday on me at work, and at first I was like stressed out about. It. I was like, oh, I was actually having a really bad day, sad day. I was like, oh my gosh, like you have no idea. Like I was like pretty sad, you know. Like I was really going through it. I was, I was sad. I was sad. I was mad. I was like, oh. So when I started writing things down. And、um, immediately writing things down, like posts I want to make and stuff, and immediately like being that creative, I like to create stuff. So like doing that, like made me feel better immediately.、And、then I started like dancing a little bit to the music, and I was like, oh, feeling better immediately. So, anyways, <clears throat> late at night,、um, I began writing this down, and God just had me write this whole thing down. So I just want to read it.、Um, I don't know if this is all this. Writing is going to be, or if it'll come out somewhere else as well. But here we go. I really feel like God had me write this.、Um, okay, here we go. Insecurity in your identity. What have you trying to debunk other people's callings? Because your fear has you think that if someone else is serving God in a different way than you. 
it threatens your way of serving, which is small-minded because the body of Christ is vast and callings are as diverse as there are people. Two different people can both be honoring God and putting him first with completely different outward expressions. I mean, it comes down to, but not limited to, calling, season, age, stage, mission, even temperament or personality, background, and shoot, how about God's will? Who has a purpose and a plan for all personality types and all people? Um, there's many members in the body of Christ. However, yes, I know two, wait, I know I must note there are overlapping themes and boundaries that should be present in every calling, which is almost without saying. However, I mention it anyways for one reason, because I know someone is dying to have me mention it, but also because it is that which ties us together. So what are these non-negotiables that every calling of God must come with? And then I know a few. Well, how about number one? It is a calling designed by God. It is somehow, or excuse me, it is something pre-planned, something God calls out and chooses. Basically, our calling isn't something we just come up with. I know it's a, kind of a crude example, but a bird doesn't just say, I'm going to be a bird or I want to fly. It just is. It just does because that's how it was made. Or a cell phone doesn't say, I want to be a cell phone. I want to be able to make calls. It just is. It just does because that's how it was made. So they're like the bird chirping and the phone buzzing. Each person was made for a specific use or calling. Like David slayed a giant, Noah built an ark. Okay. The next prerequisite I can say, each calling, each godly calling uh, must have is Jesus unlocks the calling. Ephesians 2.10 says, we are the workmanship of God, created anew in Christ Jesus, made to do the good work he has planned for us since long ago. Okay, so you see the part where it says, we are the workmanship of God, created anew in Christ Jesus. So being in Christ is what unlocks us to do the next part, the good works he had before us for the beginning er, from long ago. So God starts the call. Jesus unlocks us to hear it. Now, how do we answer it? Well, that is the third thing I want to mention. That's the third prerequisite I want to mention for every call of God. How do we answer it? So we already have first, um, God designs the call. Jesus unlocks the call so we can hear it. Now, how we answer is the grace of God. We are saved by grace, not works, lest any man should boast. It's about receiving the free gift of salvation and forgiveness. Jesus Christ on the finished work on the cross. When we do that, we become awakened to many different spiritualities or spiritual realities. The Bible says we become a new creation. Okay, so how do we so do we just lay back and do nothing? No, the Bible says that faith without works is dead. That we're to co-labor with God. So that's the end of what I wrote. Um, I would go on to um, speak about um, <clears throat> um, our role in answering the call of God, um, which is a whole other video in itself. It's a gigantic topic. We actually have a video coming out, music video. Oh, <laughs> there I said it. We have a music. We have a song coming soon with me, CISO, and Levi, Levi Leviticus Brewer um, that kind of taps on that a little bit about what is our role and what is God's role, which is like a question for the ages, right? It's like, what is our role in life and what is God's role in life? And it was like, you know, finding that discernment, that line of, of you know, what's our responsibility, what's, what's God's responsibility? Um, so yeah, finding security in our calling, I think in part, we have to see that there is so many different people used in the Bible to do so many different things. And when God has called us to do something, um, you know, pray, uh, seek wise counsel, um, look at your own temperament, what you've been designed. I can't tell everybody, yo, I've been designed to, to be an NFL player, dog. I'm not, I've never been athletically inclined, you know, I just haven't. 
you know. Um, and being okay with someone has a different calling. Not feeling the need to shame them or put them down or act like we're the only ones serving God, right? That's okay. The body of Christ has many parts. The hand does something different than the ear, than the eye, than the knees, than the feet, than the hair, than the lips, than the nose, than the chest, than the heart, than the lungs. We work together. Christ is the head. We've all fallen short of the glory. Nobody is the body by themselves, but Jesus is the head. Jesus is the body. He's called every believer, those in wheelchairs and those in doctor's office, those in uh, mental institutions and those in colleges, those on corners with signs preaching the gospel, repent for the kingdom is at hand. Those in churches, those in pews, those on buses, those in Lamborghinis, The body of Christ is fast, every skin tone, both genders. The body of Christ is fast. Let's find our part without having to put down other parts. It can be hard, it can be difficult, it can be tough. So when God is our main affirmation, then we don't maybe get affirmation elsewhere as much as maybe sometimes we would like. But I just pray for everybody watching right now, God, that whatever their role is in the body of Christ, that you would secure it, that you would anoint it, God, that you would bring peace to it. You would give them wisdom, God, to walk in that confidence, to walk in that beauty. I pray for unity in the body of Christ, Lord God, that all believers from different denominations and different churches and different ministries can all come together, God, to serve our purpose, God. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, to give you glory, to win souls, to encourage those already on uh, your team, Lord God. Have your way in our life, God. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. All right, I hope this video has helped a little bit in helping you find securing in your calling. Um, We all need it. I know I need security in my calling. I definitely do. Um, Just know that also God is a very present help of time and need. So yeah, you guys be blessed. We got some new stuff coming soon. Shalom, shalom.